huge shout out to Wiley, Sarah, and D4T who got the secret phrase from the last video, two plus two equals four. Keep your eyes peeled to the corners of the screen throughout this video and unscramble the secret phrase to get shouted out in next week's video. And also a huge shout out to Brain Legs on Instagram for giving me the idea to let managers decide what I eat for 24 hours. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, can I please speak with your manager? Do you want to come in the store? I could just do it at the window if that's okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, she wanted me to go in the store, but I, I, I don't want to go in the store because it's like, I can't film it. Hi. Hi there, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm just doing a thing right now where I let a manager decide what I eat for a day. So I was wondering if you could just pick something for me to eat. I know there's a line, so I can even come inside and grab it, if that's okay. I just called my manager. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were the manager. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good, I was just doing a thing where I'm letting uh, a manager decide what I eat for a day. So I was just wondering if you could just pick something for me to eat for breakfast, and I can come inside and pay for it and pick it up, just I don't want to waste your guys' time because it's a big line. Is that okay? Yeah, just anything for me to eat for breakfast. Yeah, thank you. Just anything, anything you want. Thank you. As someone who has worked in a fast food place, hearing the words, can I speak with your manager is probably the most terrorizing, PTSD inducing thing you'll ever hear. Like not even joking, after I went through the drive-thru and I went in to get my food, there was a guy who, he got $6 in change and he had three, they tried to give him three toonies. If you don't know what toonies are in Canada, it's like a $2, you have a $1 coin, you have a quarter, a dime, a nickel, a penny, a loonie, and a toonie, and he refused to take them. He just wanted a $5 bill but they didn't have any left in the till he just put the th th three toonies on the counter and he's like I don't even want this anymore like until you give me a five and I was like bro I'll take I'll take your three toonies if you don't want them just give me I'll take your money he asked for a manager to bitch and complain about going to Burger King and trying to get five st Michelin star service I don't even know if five Michelin stars is a thing but I went I asked for the manager and I just said hey can you just pick me something to eat and that is what we have here and she also got me a drink she got me a coffee she is the goat Burger King coffee isn't it's not the best it would have been awesome if she was like yeah as the manager of Burger King you can go get a coffee from Starbucks that would have been she probably would have gotten fired for that but let's see oh my what the? I went to Burger King for breakfast because I don't really know a lot about Burger King breakfast and um, I'm surprised she, what is, did I go to Burger King or did I go to Denny's or IHOP? I don't even know. This is what you get. The manager probably knows the best thing. And the first thing we got is the Burger King hash browns. And if you guys didn't know, I am a fan of the circular hash brown. What you get in a circular hash brown is you get crispity crunchiness in every bite. It's like one bite of all edges. It's like that brownie tin you can buy that gives you an edge on every single thing of a, the brownie. That's what these hash browns are like. Like I try and get her to come up here for the hash brown, but he won't. You just literally did it, as I was saying, you don't do it. But he, he'll sit down here, you can have a bite, bud. Have a little bite. Oh, he's going for the whole thing. There you go, and I'll have the rest. Mm. Let's pull this bad boy out here. We got a tray. I need, Honestly, I didn't even know Burger King had trays. Like, that's how surprised I am. And she also gave us a choice of peanut butter or jelly. Unless you're crazy like me and you go both. We're living on the edge, baby. Dare Gerard doing it different in 2021. Peanut, pe pe I just made a peanut butter and jelly. So what the manager picked for us in Burger King is we have an egg, we have sausage, and we have toast. I did not even know this was a thing at Burger King. I haven't had a breakfast sausage that isn't vegan in so long, so this is a treat for me. I didn't even know they had like real eggs at, Bur at Burger King. Since when does Burger King have real egg? And also, since when does Burger King Butter their toast! Oh my god, this is delicious. Mm. I also like how I said this is delicious before I didn't even take a bite. I didn't even take a bite. I already made the decision in my mind. This is gonna be delicious. What we're gonna do is take take our knife. Didn't even know Burger King had utensils. <laughs> if you don't do what I just did, get some help. You should you do need to do that. We're gonna take our jam, get that onto one of the pieces of bread. Take our peanut butter, get that onto the other slice of bread. Take the two pieces, combine them, and now it is verified. Burger King has peanut butter and jelly. And this was only, what did they charge me, like seven bucks? I don't know, maybe she gave me the freaking manager's discount as well. Burger King is killing it. Hey, I'm slowly gonna enjoy and finish this Burger King breakfast. The next place we're gonna go is Starbucks. And what I need you guys to do is like this video if you want me to do a challenge where I only eat Starbucks until they sponsor me. 
So I'm gonna be eating Starbucks for the rest of my life. I have gotten a lot of things in my life. You know, I have my dream job, I have a million subscribers, I have my own apartment, I have an amazing dog. But the one thing I can never get is a sponsorship from Starbucks, so. So my only option is to just exclusively consume Starbucks and basically act as if they have sponsored me to maybe trick them into thinking they have already sponsored me so that they will sponsor me. And that is n probably not gonna work, but we're gonna try. Welcome to Starbucks. Hi, can I please speak with your manager? Absolutely. Just one moment, okay? Thank you. We'll just get you to pull up to the window, okay? Okay. Oh my gosh, I hate. I hate having to pretend. Oh! I like have to pretend to be mad because I, I want them to kind of be happy when they realize I'm not mad. But I, I, you guys gotta see what, like before I went to Burger King, I had to give myself a pep talk to have the courage to do this. Derek, you can do this. You can do this. It's okay. You're not rude. It's for a video. They'll, under, they'll understand you're being a nice guy. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this so much. I hate this. Hello, I'm just uh, doing a video right now where I let managers decide what I eat for a day. Oh. So that's why I wanted to talk to the manager, oh, if possible. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. Could, do, would you be willing to just pick something like to drink, to eat for me? Yeah. And I can go back around yeah, and I'll actually like if you to. Go back around, um, I'll have it ready for you. Do you have like a bunch of like, water? No, whatever, whatever you want. Yeah, sounds great. Do you okay. have any dietary restrictions? No. Okay. Thanks. Diet dietary restrictions. I eat fast food for a living. Oh, no worries. Oh, how cute is the puppy? Yeah, That's thank you. Uh, he's gonna be two this year. Two this year? Yeah. What's his name? Hercules. Hercules? Yeah. Do you, you want something for him? Like a cappuccino? Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That'd be great, thank you. Oh, wow, that's a big one for you. Here you go, bud. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, sweet. Thank you. That is a guava passion fruit. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Tell your manager I said thanks. That's really nice of her. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. You too, guys. Okay, we are back from Starbucks, just in the closet right now. One, because I needed to grab a beanie, but also because as well, I thought, you know, let's switch it up a bit. Let's go into the closet. Let's film, eat some Starbucks because I'm running out of things to do, clearly. <laughs> Perk is just as excited as I am for this meal because one of the things the manager asked me if I wanted was a puppuccino, so let's give a little bit of that to Herc. Starbucks was definitely coming through for him. I wish, I wish Starbucks would come through like they do for you, Herc, for me in my, at my Gmail, Derek Gerard at pleasesponsorme.com. I am desperate and I need, I need it. That. That last part wasn't a part of the uh, the email address. That was just a fact about me. So the manager from Starbucks gave me something to eat and this is a everything and ham breakfast sandwich. So we're having breakfast for lunch just like we had breakfast for breakfast because you eat breakfast at breakfast time. I don't know. You guys know I am a ketchup kind of guy with my breakfast sandwich, but Starbucks is breakfast sandwich. Oh my God, look at that. Where is Janelle from TikTok when we need a little bit more everything bagel seasoning? Janelle, just put some on there, please. Let's see if this is certified. Boston Janelle! It looks and smells really good, especially because I'm in the closet right now and the smells are just emanating. Herc is not, well, I'm just gonna put your puppuccino on the ground for you, Herc, how about that? Even though they give enough puppuccino for like a Rottweiler, so I don't want him to get dairy poisoning, Herc, that's all you get for now, buddy. I dare, Daddy's gonna finish the rest. Okay, let's try a bite of the sandwich. Starbucks knows what they're doing when it comes to breakfast sandwiches, but I'm gonna expose, you know, let's expose Starbucks a little bit here because guys, this is what happens when you don't sponsor me. This is, I'm blackmailing you right now. Their sandwiches taste really good, but their egg is like the most sus egg out of any fast food place. Like it is perfectly half white and half yellow. Like if you look down the middle, there is a perfect distinction between the, the white and the yellow, which doesn't, this doesn't happen in nature if you guys didn't know. Eggs don't come out like this. But that doesn't mean that it's not delicious. And I'm really glad that Starbucks wasn't as busy because Burger King was so busy that I had to go inside. But Starbucks, they just let me loop around and go back through the drive-thru. Cause like when I was inside Burger King, looking out at Herc in the car, like I posted this clip on my Instagram story. It is so hard not to just rush and want to get back to the car so quick. When you see this little guy just like looking out the window like, Dad, Dad, where are you? Derek, where are you? I'm so lonely. Or he's like, Derek, 
when are you gonna get back with that food so I can steal a couple bites? <laughs> Whichever one it is, I love you. And interestingly enough, the Starbucks manager did not pick a coffee drink for me. They picked a guava something. They, they, they told it to me. They didn't put a sticker on this. Maybe this is like a secret manager concoction. Let's give it a try. Mm, okay, I don't know if this is on the menu. It tastes, it tastes like, is it suntan lotion? <laughs> It tastes like a mixture of like suntan lotion and like a smile. Because that's what you get at Starbucks, guys. You get a smile in a cup. G go Starbucks.com slash Derek Gerard. Go there to get yourself 10% off. How good does that sound, Starbucks? Tell me that doesn't sound good and natural and like it should be. Hey, uh, 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 that should be a thing. I know that if Starbucks sponsored me, you guys would support the absolute crap out of it. I also realized I have a giant A&W coupon place in the background. Probably not good for my Starbucks um, relationship, but until the day that they reach out to me, they don't get none of this, baby. Quote that and put it in a book. I'm gonna wait a couple hours because it's just past 12 o'clock. We need to do dinner. I'm gonna pick up Jazz Paul and he is going to be the one saying, can I speak with your manager? Because I can only do it so many times before I start genuinely questioning if I'm a Karen or if I'm, what's the guy version? There's Karen, there's Chad, there's Jad from Chad with a J. Let me, uh, let me Google this. So the male version of Karen is Ken, Greg, or Terry. And honestly, I don't, think I've ever met one of those three names that I actually like them as a person. So let us know in the comments if that's right now, comment down below, what is your name? I'm so sorry if you're Ken, Greg, or Terry because people are gonna be roasting you, but if you're a nice Ken, Greg, or Terry, let us know in the comments because we, we, we need some representation. Hi, what can I get you? Hi, um, can I, uh, sorry, can I please talk to your manager? I'm sorry? Can, can I please talk to your manager, please? Come inside to talk to the manager, please. Thank you. There's a line up happening behind you. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, is there any way I could just speak to a manager? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, are you a manager? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I We're just doing a thing where we let a manager pick what we eat for a day. So I was just wondering if you could pick me like two meals and two drinks, like whatever, whatever you want. Like whatever the common, like common people It doesn't matter. If you, whatever you like, whatever, what, like anything. Just two meals. Yeah, or you don't have to do meals. You can do it just to feed two people. Oh, okay. Just wait a moment. Okay. Six and a half hours later. Thank you so much. Sorry to be in any trouble. Like awesome, <laughs> thank you. Derek is back from the worst McDonald's in history. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you the McDonald's. You guys all know which McDonald's this is. No, they don't. Well, what do you, you guys, mean? You guys, look, if you guys uh, checked out my story on Instagram, which you can guys, you know, check out below, Derek underscore Gerard, verified account. You will see that uh, the actual McDonald's is, I mean, it's there, we I, posted it. I also need you to realize that everybody driving by, it just looks like you're filming my car <laughs> right now. <laughs> Another week of Dare Paul Reacts, it's Monday. Just kidding, prank Joe. We are here on the Dare Gerard channel. Just a little homage to the Dare Paul Reacts studio, which you guys can check out, link in the description. A little sneak peek for you. If you move your body over here, you don't need to, why oh, did you just I, try and hug me? I, I, and now it's awkward. Ah, Dare, I got a fresh tattoo, so I you. Bro, <laughs> what happened? I hugged you way too hard, and your shoulder went straight into my Adam's apple. I thought I died there for a second. Dare! We went inside because the guy in the drive-thru would not let us do it in the drive-thru. I actually know who that guy is. I used to work at McDonald's for three years. That guy. That's all I'm saying. Worst McDonald's in history. There are two meals that the manager picked for us. One is a quarter pounder BLT with a poutine, and the other is the ghost pepper McChicken sauce. So what we're gonna do right now, Damn it! you get to pick the- Can I just choose the other one? I, don't, I can't have ghost pepper. Yes, you can. Bro, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't even have freaking Tabasco. Why can't you have ghost pepper? You look I'll die! You look <laughs> right now, whoever can guess the, the closest number of followers that Jazz Paul has on Instagram gets to pick which one they are without looking. We should write, you need to write this down or something. <laughs> I know. So we're both gonna write it down and then we'll see. Okay, so reveal right now, my guess, 117,000. What'd you write? 160K? Oh no! Am I way off? I don't know. Oh no, what is it? Let's see. I'm gonna pull that up right now. I'm gonna screenshot it. Oh my god, I it? have. Oh yes! I have, Woo! I have failed as a Jazz to do stand. 165! So yeah, you get to pick. Which one do you want? Uh, the ghost pepper or the ghost pepper? Because they're both ghost pepper. What? The f. <laughs> <laughs> I never swear, guys. And they, they made me swear for that one. Seriously? Oh, okay. No. What was the point of all that? I got excited for no reason. It's 
well, do you, you want the poutine? Why did you get a post close that first? <laughs> like, I don't understand this. There's no, nothing funny about that. Why? There's not, what do you mean? It is Why? funny. But oh, I, I'm upset. No, that's funny? That's funny. <laughs> What is he? Doing? What is her? What the? Heck? What is he doing? It's my head. Okay, so here you can get the fries. I'm gonna get the poutine. Uh, they also this manager really came through for us because she gave Mick chicken sauce and ketchup, and I didn't even ask. I didn't even ask for it. I swear I did not. Now this has to be rigged. This has to be. It's not rigged. I swear. She gave you Mick chicken sauce. Are you even asking? The I worst McDonald's in history was trying to be good. Let's get you tasting your food, and then I'll get you'll get me tasting mine because I want you to just really see the enjoyment on your face of the ghost pepper. Okay, that looks, dude. The sauce is bleeding. It's supposed to be white. Look at that. It's orange. Why is oh it orange? Gosh. I think they put extra on. Oh there, my dude. god, dude. Why? There's pickles on this. Trying to be a fake Big Mac. What do they give? Oh, one root beer and one Coke. So you can have the root beer because I know you like root beer. I hate McDonald's root beer. <laughs> you hate McDonald's root beer. Because it don't even, it's not even root beer. It's just pure water. That's all they do. I'm sorry. I love McDonald's, but seriously, your root beer machine sucks. No matter what McDonald's I've gone to, it's always watery root beer. Wow. What? what? Wow. I'm being honest. I know. Nothing biased. I know. Yeah, I know you're being honest. I think someone's trying to stall out of the ghost pepper right now. Uh -huh. Is all I'm saying. Oh no, it's in the air. The fumes. Have reached. Dude, I, I'm Kelly. Is it? What? I don't think I can have uh, food today. No, you can't have food today. <clears throat> uh, I think somebody was eating a couple of those fries yeah. uh, when the camera. It's now. It's closing up. It's yeah, closing you know what else is closing up? Your opportunity with another brand deal with McDonald's right now. So let's yeah, let's get over there. Seriously? Oh, that's a hard bun. <laughs> so this this has only happened one time ever. One time ever, this has only ever happened. And it was the hardest bun ever. It was embarrassing because it was my first ever date and the guy was really upset. Oh. So you said you can't eat or do you want to share this with me? It's your choice. I, I wanted to share with you because I wanted to showcase how both sides of the meal. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. So take a bite. I'm going to take a bite of the, the poutine. Yeah. Jasper's taking a bite of his ghost pepper burger and Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god, dude. They forgot to put the ghost pepper sauce on mine. You mother... <laughs> <laughs> they forgot to put ghost pepper sauce... Wait, I thought it was two ghost pepper burgers. Oh my god, this is even worse. This give me a, a Coke. I don't this care. Is a, this I'm is a, my, give me a Coke. This is a quarter pounder BLT with... I, I Bro! Uh, <laughs> they're supposed to... <laughs> dude, Bob, this is making it worse. <laughs> Let me eat my food for a second, okay? I don't even know what I'm doing. I, I was gonna- I'm eating hot! It's okay, okay. I'm eating hot! I'll take over. We have my Coke here, which Jazz Paul took a sip of. <laughs> um, okay, it can't be that Bro, bad. it's so spicy. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite of the poutine. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really happy that the manager- Like, the managers all day have been so nice. Like, giving such good food. And it's been so amazing. What are you doing? I'm a real one. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you got, can I have some ketchup? It may help. What? Ketchup's gonna help with your. Uh, oh, okay. I can't even get this meat chicken sauce open. Oh! So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of my fries here. I'm gonna put the McChicken sauce on top. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. I'm just gonna have them my fries. Yeah. Uh, That's okay. Do you wanna try a bite of my burger? Trick question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually? I mean, for the purpose of the video, I feel like I have to. So I'm gonna go on the other side. You know what? Let's swap. Let's swap burgers now. Thank you. That's we'll, fair. We'll take a bite of each. What I deserve. I won the fair square. Yeah. Cheat me. Jasper did win the uh, competition. Um, but what the employee did is she. Okay, Jasper is just going in right. <laughs> she added tomato. Pickle, and uh, that was that's all she added to this burger. So I'm I'm going. I'm gonna lick my. I got the sauce on my finger. Wow, I'm licking that off, baby. Spice definitely hits you right away. Oh my god, I look so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's actually really hot. I'm, I'm eating a poutine. Yeah, I'm gonna take another sip of my. What I have to say about letting. Oh, I got some mayo on my face that Jasper decided to not tell me about. So let me see. Uh, Nothing wrong with that. I'll lick it up for you. Hold on. I licked it off, so where's that chicken sauce? I'll put some more on my face. 
What I can say about letting managers decide, we have a nice like smorgasbord here from McDonald's. Every single one has been good, but the question is, is that because the places we were going to had good managers? Who knows what a manager at Taco Bell would give a and W? There are so many options. So if you guys want to see a part two, let me know in the comment section while Jazz Paul just eats all, literally all, uh, all of the food with no regard for. Why do you showcase me like I'm some like hideous monster, huh? Why? I'm, I'm not. <laughs> Guys, be sure to check out Dare Paul Reacts, link in the description. Best reaction channel on YouTube! Yeah, shout out Latvia, shout out the Hula Girls. If you guys wanna know where this stuff came from, you have to go over to the channel. Subscribe if you are new, turn on your post notifications. I'm gonna go down here so Hurt can say goodbye as well. Hurt, can you guys you say goodbye to the D-Squad? You want some gold? Don't let- Hurt, no! Don't let me hurt! Ah! Thank you guys for watching. Love you, appreciate you. Always remember the motto of do good, die great, and we'll see you all in the next video. All right, see ya. Herc, you want my little sausage? Not my little, no, do you want a little sausage? I don't have, my sausage is huge, like massive sausage that I have.